with the FTC and Microsoft still in court, news is just streaming in, streaming in so fast, bro. Updates are coming left and right. Jimothy Ryan had this video plan, him answering questions about gaming industry stuff. He talked about how Xbox also PlayStation at one point for like three months. So like, come on now, bro. That it didn't fucking matter. Those those three months did not fucking matter to anybody. <laughs> he talked about how PlayStation Plus has more subscribers than Game Pass. Of course they do, bro. Do you see the model you ran versus what Game Pass is doing right now? Of course you have more subscribers. What the fuck does that matter? He said cloud gaming is not going to be a thing for another two years. Which two years is not that fucking far away. And you're definitely not competing in that market at this moment. You're just going to convert in two years? Some wild shit that he was saying on there. But his biggest wild thing he said was game publishers unanimously hate game pass no game publishers like game pass and when like when when i read that he said that i'm like okay what the fuck is he talking about and he says that publishers think game pass is value destructive and i'm thinking to myself i'm like who is it destroying value for because game pass only gives value to the player who the fuck is it destroying value for oh it gotta be destroying value for the corpse it got to be destroying value for the publishers. And I'm thinking, like, how many game publishers don't support Game Pass, like, at this moment? Because Epic supports Game Pass. They literally have a cloud version of, of, of Fortnite. It is crazy. Capcom supports Game Pass, which is wild. Square Enix supported Game Pass. Supported the fuck out of Game Pass. How many drops did Square Enix put in Game Pass? Come on now. What are you talking about? Ubisoft supports Game Pass. EA supports Game Pass. They're literally attached. Take Two supports Game Pass, even though they literally said they wouldn't do a subscription-based thing themselves. They won't. They won't touch a subscription-based thing. They don't think it's right for them. They like selling their shit, but they still put Grand Theft Auto Five in Game Pass. Sega supports Game Pass. We the list goes on and on. Konami supports Game Pass. It is crazy how many publishers support Game Pass, but none of them like Game Pass. So when Jimothy said that, I'm like, which publishers don't support Game Pass? Like, at the moment. And I'm like, I don't think Activision does. Because they're literally selling Call of Duties for full price. And them bitches are full of hackers. So, I mean, they don't. Who else doesn't? Like a big game publisher. I can't think of them. There's quite a bit of, like, you know, random studios that hasn't put anything in Game Pass and stuff like that. How many how many actual publishers because Bethesda supported Game Pass and then they got bought by Xbox. So I mean <laughs> now they kind of have to support Game Pass. It's kind of the thing that they're in. But like which developers, which publishers did he talk to? Like heads of them. And he's like, yeah, bro, Game Pass, you know, that's the bane, bro. We don't want our value destroyed. Cause I'm like, what are you saying, bro? Of course, everybody loves sales numbers, bro. Sales numbers look better in the news than anything. Microsoft can say how many people played their games because of Game Pass, and indie developers can go and say the same thing. They got paid, and they got a hell of people to play their game. They got all these new fans now. But big game publishers, they love to say how many people they sold their product to. That is just a big headline for them. That's a big, that's a big news for them. Sony can go out and say, hey, Ghost of Tsushima sold 9 million units. But then they sold Ghost of Tsushima twice on two platforms. And it's like, did y'all did the game really fucking succeed? You sold that bitch two times to get nine million people to buy it? To each his own with those type of metrics when it comes to that. So Game Pass kind of dilutes that. Because, like, I mean, the value is going to be in the gamer's hands now. Do you want to pay $10 to play that bitch in Game Pass or do you want to pay the whole price? That is the dilemma that the gaming industry can go through at this moment. A lot of people support it. Jimothy says they don't fucking like it. And I'm like, I mean, you do you really support things that you don't like because dollar value? That's kind of wild to, to think that. Because so many publishers support Game Pass. Actively supporting Game Pass. But unanimously, they hate it? They don't like it. It destroys the value of games. I see See, Square Enix just sold Final Fantasy 16 on PlayStation. $70 game. 720p60. $70 game. 
at 720p60. Barely get maintaining a frame rate consistent when it's at a higher resolution in 1080p. It is crazy how if that game did drop in Game Pass 1, it would be called Game Pass fodder because it's literally bad. They would judge it like it's, it should have been judged. But then gamers would have had the fucking choice of wasting their money paying $70 for a broken game or paying $10 to play it, realize this game is not what they thought it was going to be, and walk the fuck away from it. It is wild how it's destructive only when, <laughs> only when it replies, I mean, only when it resorts to literally finessing the fans. Gaming has been about finessing the people for a long time. That's why hype and marketing has always been a big ass deal. Game Pass fucking relleviates all of that because your game comes into Game Pass. They play it. Is it fucking good or is it bad? It's not the gaming critics telling you what's good no more because all the gaming critics gave this bitch a 10 out of 10, 100%, even though the game was fucking broken. But then the game like High on Life comes out. It's a great fucking game. Critics shit on it real fast, real bad. But then every player that played the game was like, go play the fucking game, bro. It's a great fucking game. Then you see the user scores. For this game everywhere, high as hell. But it got a fucking 60 on Metacritic? Why? Because all the critics hated the fucking game. Why did they hate the game? Because it dropped in Game Pass. But then everybody that played the game, people actually bought the fucking game because they liked it. It's wild, bro. But it's destructive. <laughs> it's value destructive. That is wild, bro. That is wild. But I mean, to each his own, Jimothy knows what he's doing. He's selling really fucking well on PlayStation. But, like, how many more people would enjoy or not enjoy or would buy or not buy his games if they didn't have to buy them to see if they were worth it or not? I mean, I guess you can wait for YouTube videos. But, like, even if you just watch it on YouTube, you would never get the, get the sense of it if you don't have the controller in your hand. But, uh, I don't know. Y'all gonna have to let me know about that. So, uh, I'm gonna end this right here. So, thank y'all for watching. Like, subscribe if you're new. I'm like, unanimously, that was crazy. I'm like, he didn't list a single fucking publisher, though. That nigga didn't cite a single fucking source. Because, man's gotta be cap. Unless everybody love money that much. That, like, they are sacrifice. Oh, my morals were game pass. Microsoft got good checks. <laughs> but who knows, bro? He could be telling the truth, and they all could just be hiding behind the checks Microsoft giving them. And just basking in it. So, like, yeah. I'll see you on the next video.